All right, hey guys, Sam back with you here midday on a Thursday, April 26th. The last up for the day per uh, the uh, polling that we do amongst the members is for TRX, Tron, Tron to Bitcoin. Here I've got it up on, on Binance. I've got a three-hour chart here. Now, just a quick review, or so if you're not familiar with this project, this is a you know, very, very popular crypto here. A lot of interest in this. Market cap, $4.6 billion. All the ingredients you'd look for here for a strong project. 74 on the, on the complete scale, 82 amongst developers. Liquidity is good. Bulk of it is traded against the Korean won. Right? It's interesting, right? So uh, Bitcoin taking up uh, only 30, we'll call it 38% of it here, and fairly good spread amongst exchanges. BitHum, no surprise, as we're trading against the Korean won. So we look down here. So here's Binance TRX to Bitcoin. You're still holding at about, you know, 20 to almost 23% of the trading volume. So that's where we're going to look at it. Now, this, you know, we're, we're basing it off of. Uh, off of a technical pivot down here, which you know, probably no surprise here that we've had algo activity here. So you can just you know what I'm about to draw if I can get this hot. So here, here's my swing, here's my low, here's my 50. So you can see algo participation. There it is, right? So they sell the 50, they get their target. There's our reaction. Okay. So we have the point of that is just to create the idea that we've, or at least propose the idea. Let me say it that way, that I've got a technical pivot here that I can start working from. So I've got an algo reaction here. We move off of that pretty aggressively. And it would appear that we've got a motive wave to start. Now it did get a little bit squirrely here where we have this big spike and retrace. So I've got account on here that's a little unorthodox, but certainly fits based on what I'm seeing and doesn't violate any Elliott rules. So coming off the low here, I've, I've got my clean five wave structure to set up my one, but then I get this very, very deep retracement for an A. And it, it comes down in five, which is why I end up with this count. Because I'm coming down in five, it really hard to count that as anything other than a, than a five wave A coming off of it. I'll, I'll, granted, it's very deep. So if we look at that in terms of the low to the high, in terms of how far it goes, that's, that's you know, we're, we're breaking through the six five just barely. So we get this, you know, you can kind of draw this up here where we've got, here's our one high, we've got this prior, so we get this little resistance and support zone down here, which appears to be meaningful to the market where we find our A. So this rip up here, so of course the break here, any algorithms that sold from that on the other side, if they're taking that low, you just rip right through. Right? So now they're back on the other side of it. So that would set this up here. So what I think we've got here is this five waves down, this very abrupt B wave, and then we end up finishing here with an unorthodox shape but so you would call that a truncated C wave as we don't come out of the, or we don't take out the low of the A wave. So that's, you know, kind of the way I'm seeing it here. And this, you know, you get the first one here. Well, where was it? So one of these was quite technical. So working from that pivot. Oh, where is it? Right here. So here's the, th so we potentially one, two, three here to the th 38. We come down here and we finish. We get, uh, we're not, we're shy of the algo target, but what do we run into? We run into the 50. So it, the, the same swing low, swing high. I would not move here. So if, so that's my A, that's my B. And well, interestingly, we come, we run into support here at the 50. So, you know, little, little things like just wicking off to the left here, you know, p possible areas of, of support that, you know, that's, it's worth hitting those as they have a tendency to come back into play some point in the future. So maybe we're beyond that and we, it won't be a factor anymore. Same thing here, I'd wick off this pivot. It was obviously an important swing level here. We breaking this high, but look how quickly we retrace. So coming from that swing, right? So if I grab this to this, same kind of thing. Very deep, we go to the 786. So unorthodox from an algo perspective and just from just straight fib pulls, but I can get an Elliott count here. So here's an example where using some Elliott wave knowledge helps us get a handle on where we may be. So I, I am playing this as a one, two down here. Okay, so if we're going from one, two, if, if that's one, two, well, I'm expecting, in fact, if this count is gonna hold, I need to come out of that two with some sort of a motive wave. And ideally, if we're gonna go right into the three, we're gonna come out impulsively. So the, the other thing I would put on this, since I've got this unorthodox 
pattern. I, I want to kind of pay attention to what's happening here with regards to any of the the market geometry here because I've got this odd count. So we do get a, uh, the, the well, we're technically not a golden corner pocket because we break the 65 just barely, but we get our reaction that gets us to the median line. So it's 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 rather swift, and we we, we get there. But now as we push off to the side. You know, it's, this is a judgment call as to whether or not that is still determining the geometry of the market as we move away from it. So it looks like the third is in here of whatever wave count that we can't be definitive about where we are. But there's some sort of a five wave structure. If this is my four, then I've got an impulse as we don't threaten the one. You know, from this 50, we, we got the algo target. Are we going to keep going? Well, we're gonna, you know, we've got the potential now for this to get up here would re require a pretty good kick in the fifth to get that high. So do we get there? Remains to be seen, but that's that's a reasonable target relative to the length of the one projected from my two, or pardon me, from my two is now over here. So I've got a reasonable target up here for a third relative to that one, two. Right. So it's, it's possible that if we get too far away from that, you'd want to redraw here, and I would check both of them, just looking for any any evidence that I can get relative to what the market is doing now. So this looks again, we're kind of running into the time barrier here, as we know that there's there's a pro high probability, 80%, in fact, of us getting from the assuming these pivots hold that these three pivots hold of getting to the median line right but we're kind of fighting the time factor so it may be that what we need to do is consider an alternate on this so i'd look at the shift and see mm, anything well that's kind of interesting as we tag it tag it i would also look at the modified just to try and get a sense of where we are where we could be going so is this the geometry that's dominating the market let me get that right there you know that's a contender so I'd want to be watching both of them if I get anything un, you know, out of the ordinary here. Right now, it looks like if that's my four, and I don't know for sure, this could just be the A, B, and a four going in because we had a very simple two down here. So maybe a little more complexity could be that the four is in. Can't quite tell it yet. So I can, though, measure the length of this one projected from the proposed two. If I drag it across... Right, so I get a very technical pivot up here as my third, right? Highest probability zone for the third is right between the 1618 and the 175. Where do we go? Boom, right to it. So good contender here for my third. Now there's the reaction off of that. Is that my four? Or do we have more complexity to come in that correction? That's a candidate. It's very abrupt. So if I go down to the to the one hour, maybe we get a little bit better here. We're gonna see the three waves in there. So I you know, if this is my third here, I can get an A, B, C in that. One, two, going again. So if that's a one, two in my fifth, that plays. I mean, that, that, that's, that's set up for a route to get me there towards those, those highs that we're looking for up here. That might be a bit much. So this, the, here the geometry might frame it here. There's 2618, the length of the one, which would be extreme for that fifth. But so far, so good. It looks, it looks like you might have this last little kick up here to get us towards that fit. Oh, come on. Trading V drives me crazy with that. There, there's, my, there's my proposed target for my fifth, which would give me a third relative to this one. Pardon me. Where's my th So this third relative to this one. Two, <laughs> it's so wild. I'm having a hard time finding it. So in green, one, two. So let me put the wave on there so it's a little bit easier to see. If, I'm, if I can't follow it, I know you're struggling. Okay, so there's, there's the route that we're setting up here. One, here's my two. One, unorthodox two, right? But note right at the 50, going up for that as my third, right? Does that look like it could be like a reasonable scenario? Well, this is probably too far off. Something along those lines here to incorporate that market geometry. So one, two, we're going for the three, down for the four, finish for the five. All that does is complete a one wave. So now we got to put that in the context of where we've been. So a viable route here, I can see how this, this could play. All the geometry is there, all the pattern is there. We had, of course, this very unusual price action in here, but you know, welcome to trading. It's not, it's not supposed to be easy. Now let's back this all out. So let's go back to, let's go to our four hour think about where we could be going. So we've got some upper targets here. Well, we, we, we got to look at the all the way halfway back. 
Right, so here, we, we got to deal with the 50 up here. We got to deal with that. Could that be our resistance? 618 is inevitable. I kind of check some of these along the way here. That's kind of interesting. So if I if I zoom in here, I'm working off of this pivot here. It's probably hard for you to see it, but there there's a pivot right here that you wouldn't see with this with it compressed like this on a four hour, but there's a pivot right here. So potentially that's a pivot that's significant, sets this all up here as we run into potentially the 618 here off of this pivot. All right, so we'll, we shall see, right? So right now, of course, eventually we're, we got to deal with the all the way halfway back. So just because I'm identifying one here doesn't mean you would ignore this one. That's going to be in play. We got to get through that to get to that blue sky where we don't have algo selling to fight through. But good looking price action here, right? So if that all sets up, what have we done? We've just put in a one wave. So in the largest degree, all we're trying to do is come off of this low, trying to get a one wave, a two wave, a three wave, four and five up. So we go to white, we go to we go to intermediate here. This is what this is the reason to try and be screwing around in here. Is there enough juice here to get us into our four or five to give us a good one up here? All that's doing is completing the one of the larger degree. Then we wait for the two, right? So we swing low, swing high. We look, look for entry around the 50 as we would with any second wave. There's your, that, that's how you're getting back to challenge those old highs, All right? You got You got to start somewhere. So I've got a good technical pivot down here. I've got squirrely price action, but it's all still consistent with a roadmap of how we can get up to challenge those old highs. So not an easy one, right? So that's tr very tricky, right? So it's just, again, right? Remember the trading is is a war. It's you against the other traders, you against the algos, you against professionals whose job it is to take your money. So don't ever forget that. It's not supposed to be easy. And it's not. So there's a tricky one, but there's a way to get a handle on it using this these uh, methodologies. Same thing I would do with every chart. This is the, the abnormality. It's very unusual price action, but you can apply Elliott Wave Theory to it, stay consistent within that rule set, and build yourself a roadmap. Okay, guys, that'll do it for today.